Steve-o, 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 Steve-o. Main man, Steven. How do, guys? So, I'm out here. <laughs> I'm out here. Beautiful. It's actually freezing. I'm freezing my nuts off, but I thought I'd get out here because I haven't been out for a while with a boy. I'm going to talk about Jerry Springer. Jerry, Jerry. Yeah? So in this last hour, I've laughed and smiled a lot. A lot of childhood memories of Jerry Springer's show. Uh, if you don't know who he is, go on YouTube, Jerry Springer. Guaranteed to make you laugh. I'll tell you what me and our lads are doing tonight. Uh, I'm going to cook her a nice meal. Uh, been a bit of a tough week. I might have a glass of wine. I don't drink a lot now. Uh, too old and it affects me too much. We're going to watch some Jerry Springer and guarantee we're going to laugh. Um, talk show host. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to call him a talk show host or not. Um, probably one that made me cringe the most and laugh the most uh, was the Ku Klux Klan. Again, if you don't know who the Ku Klux Klan are, white supremacists on stage. <laughs> some of them um, were visible, and some of them had the pointy hats on with the eye holes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Not backwards and coming forward, Jerry Springer confronts him. Um, obviously, in an audience, stood well back with Steve-O, Steve-O. Not that Steve-O. He had a security guy, my mate said in the 80s, I looked a lot like him. Um, yeah, and it was funny, and you knew what was coming. You know, uh, Ku Klux Klan, uh, mixed race audience, it kicked off, there was a mass brawl. And people laughed. It probably had a serious side. But he knew what you were getting. He made you smile. Jerry Ming... Jerry Minger. Jerry Minger. Jerry Springer made me laugh. I'm, I'm just going to cut to the, to the scenery now. It is quite bleak up here today, guys. But um, I thought I'd bring you up. I know some of you don't get out. I know some of you like seeing the boy. Uh, I'll get him back on in a bit. So, yeah. Jerry Springer. Controversial. Uh, if you went on the Jerry Springer show... You know exactly what you were getting. Uh, <laughs> you know, it, <coughs> it was absolutely cringeworthy. Um, I've just watched a clip now. So there's a, a young lass, pretty young thing, and she's got a pretty young thing either side of her, another two lasses. So they've both declared their undying love. She, she wants one of them. Um, but she decides, because she likes fruit and apple sauce, that they're going to duke it out, they're going to fight it out uh, in a tub of apple sauce. So Jerry just happens to have a, a big sort of like pool. He brings it out, fills it with apple sauce and these two lasses fight and the audience are loving it. And it's comedy, it's funny. You know exactly what you're going to get. The, <laughs> there's another one with the gay guy. Yeah, quite definitely camp this guy. He's on stage talking to Jerry. So he'd get the guest on, he'd have a little chat, uh, he'd introduce him. So this guy's gay, he asked him about that. He asked him whether he's, he loves someone. He said he did, he said he's got a partner and he wants to bring him on today <laughs> to tell him he doesn't love him anymore. So, you know, <laughs> if you're his partner, uh, I'm presuming he would know he's going on Jerry Springer, so I won't be thinking that I'm going on for a good time with my partner. But there you go. Anyway, he brings him on. Uh, they have a bit of a cat fight. He tells him he doesn't love him anymore. He's found somebody else. He then tells him, he then tells him that he's no longer gay. <laughs> he tells him that stripper sex, stripper sex has turned him straight. So the audience are laughing, his partner's going at him, and then they bring this stripper on. Uh, she's a big girl, maybe 50 stone. And again, you know, he, he <laughs> <He's> <laughs> Oh, Stephen, lad, lad, lad. Eh? How we laughed. Jerry Springer show. The thing is, guys, you know, I've had a... Stop dragging your bum, Stephen on camera, 
Oh my God, that's quite appropriate for the, uh, the Jerry show. Right, I've got you back, guys, yeah. So, it's it's been a pretty tough couple of weeks, you know. Uh, I am fortunate what I have, a look around me, family and friends and the like, but sometimes life catches you up and it becomes a bit tough. Um, and you need a laugh. And like I said, we are going to watch Jerry tonight, and I have laughed. But then, uh, you know, I sort of spun it on its head, the Jerry Springer show. Um it, it would get cancelled now, quite definitely. You know, the stuff on it was real world stuff that people go through, breakups. Um, <laughs> I ain't never breaking up with our lass. I absolutely love her to bits. But let me tell you now, I definitely wouldn't have taken her on the Jerry Springer show uh, to break up. I'd have got levered. Yeah. Um, so sometimes perhaps it was a bit cruel, but like I say, I would think if you went on the Jerry show, you knew what you're coming to. So, the point of this is, I have laughed today. I'm going to watch him tonight. What would happen now with the Jerry Springer show? Yeah? There won't be no audience laughing. Uh, there probably will be some fighting. There'll be a lot of people shouting and trying to shut people down. Because that's where we are now, aren't we? We can't have civil conversations about things. It doesn't happen anymore. Yeah? We've got all these opinions, opinions, opinions. But, you know, people are way serious. Uh, sort of that human side of things. <laughs> Look at his tail sticking out of my ear. It's been a good afternoon up here. You know, it's nice and cool to bring him out. He can't walk that far. It's been good. Yeah, he, you know, I, I look at the sort of topics he'd probably be covering now. Um, yeah, it, it won't happen. People are way too serious. And, and the other thing is, you know, people aren't prepared to discuss things. If someone has an opinion or they think they're right, they, they, they shut down other people, they shut down opinion, yeah? And it seems to me nowadays that truth and facts don't count for a lot, which is very sad. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing. <laughs> it is good to laugh. I'm not laughing about what's going on today. Just Jerry Springer. You know, good on you, Jerry. Rest in peace. I mean, the guy was a politician. He did one or two other things. But I will uh, definitely be laughing tonight and remember him for having a great show. I'm going to leave it there. I'd like to thank everyone who supported the channel. Uh, maybe like and subscribe. Guys, if you're not already, uh, tell people about the channel. Uh, I'm really going to try now and sort of going forward more vlogs with steven i'm going to go to some different locations some outdoor locations uh beautiful scenery that sort of thing um got quite a few people to interview the lad tomorrow night right he's he's, he's come tez give it a watch friday night lads and lasses um whoa there we go you never lose it um Tez from Australia has come for a wedding and we hooked up and we did a little interview. Truly inspiring guy. I, I could have spent all day with him, me. Uh, absolutely love the guy to bits. Um, it is an inspirational story and it has got his dark bits. He had me in tears before we even started the interview, just talking about some of the things he'd been through in life. Um, I am or have got a bit of a heavy cold at the minute. Uh, that's why the eyes are watering. Also, it must be about minus two up here. But there you go. Uh, parting shot as always, guys. But thanks to everyone who support the channel. Um, Patreon, bought me a brew. And guess, past, present and future. Al Sidi, main Ever-present therapist. Best mate. Along with you, Amy. <laughs> Our Stephen. I'll see you there.